One Warner Robins car salesman is back at home after having the opportunity to participate in a challenge to sell Tonight Show host Jimmy Fallon a Ford F-150. Now, you might remember Elvis Randolph. He didn't win, but I did speak with him this morning at the five-star Ford dealership in Warner Robins for what he says was a life-changing experience. For Elvis Randolph, it's back to work as usual, doing what he knows and what he loves, selling cars. The 31-year-old thinks his trip to New York City to compete in the Fingers on a 4x4 challenge was one he'll never forget. While he admits he was a little nervous, Randolph says it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You know, talking to Jimmy, he was just like, "Be it's a, com it's a comedy show, so just be calm about it, uh, just relax and have fun. Everybody was there to have fun. Yes, yeah, a competition, but, you know, he wanted everybody to have fun. It is pretty tough to have fun, especially when you have to keep your hand on a truck nonstop, without sleeping, and not tap out. Randolph plays fourth in the contest, giving in at around 31 hours, with five-minute bathroom breaks every hour and a longer break every six. The five minutes was going by so fast, and then the 15-minute breaks every six hours, you, 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 you was waiting on them to come. How hard is it really <laughs> to keep your hand on the truck? Um, it's not that hard to keep your hand on the truck. The hardest part is staying focused. A laser focus, he says, helps when he sells cars. I kind of strive on, you know, keeping folks happy, man. I don't, of course, you don't like people being mad at you. And already what the world or what everybody thinks of a car salesman, um, you know, I, I was raised to treat people the right way. And I, I kind of stick with that in this business. His team at the dealership welcomed him back and even rewarded him with something sweet to say a job well done. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, man. You got to cut, Elvis told me he right. wants to thank everyone who got out and supported him while he was up in New York City, especially on social media, and he wouldn't hesitate to do that challenge again.